folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's kind of a, I don't know, interesting day, I guess, because I am back to my phone, the OnePlus 7 Pro. I am still using it all of these months later. And I did want to make another quick video about it because in my last video, I did talk about some serious, serious display bugs and problems I was having with this phone. Unfortunately, they do persist. I think there is another software update coming out in a couple of days. So definitely follow me on Twitter because I will be updating over there on what happens with this particular device. But in this video, I wanted to build on kind of that software conversation I was having in the last video about this phone and talk about other annoyances I have with the OnePlus 7 Pro software. This is Oxygen OS, obviously, because it is on a OnePlus phone. And there's some things about it that just really annoy me. And I'm gonna sound a lot like Linus today from Linus Tech Tips when I nitpick about little things in the software. But these are things that I think are both annoying to me and probably other users. And also contrary to the whole OnePlus brand of simplicity and efficiency. And that's just something I wanted to touch on in this video. So let's get started. So as I say, these things are about Oxygen OS specifically. Um, and the first things are really small ones. So when I turn on the phone, there's the uh, white fingerprint icon. But then when you actually do the fingerprint, it's blue. Okay, blue, blue is a cool color, right? We like blue. Um, what else is blue? Um, when you plug in the phone to warp charge, the animation is similar to the fingerprint animation, which is blue. And I like blue, it's the theme I'm using for my wallpapers, as you can see on pretty much all my devices. But the OnePlus clock is red and you can't change it, it's just, it's red. So the always on display clock as well is red. What the hour, the hour digit or digits are red. Why is that? I just, it's so small and I almost never look at this clock, but if I did have the ambient display on, it would be a lot more annoying. It just, it doesn't, it, it, I don't understand it, but I guess that's the way it is. And it is, it's also red here. Unbelievable, I just, I don't get it. Now the next couple of things are in, in the settings app specifically, and this is so annoying to me, okay? So I have a lot of Bluetooth devices. I have, a Bluetooth speaker over there. I have another Bluetooth speaker here. I have my Bluetooth headphones. I have my AirPods Pro, which are somewhere around here. For the life of me, I can't see where they are. I switch Bluetooth devices a lot, okay? In order to do that, I have to go to settings. That is the camera. I have to go to settings, to Bluetooth, to Bluetooth again. Then I have to scroll down, and then I have to go into the device settings right here. And then I have to go connect, disconnect, or forget. So there are so many steps. Same thing with Wi-Fi. This is what also annoys me. I move around a lot. That's just the way my life is right now. I change Wi-Fi networks. Here's what I need to do. Go into the settings app. Go into Wi-Fi and network. Go into Wi-Fi again at the top. And then go into network settings and pick whatever network I'm on. Why is it like that? I mean, these are the two most common settings people change, okay? To OnePlus's credit, they are in their own little box right at the top of the settings app. But why do I have to tap so many times just to get to the settings that people change all the time? Like the settings, okay? You go into display. On this phone, there is screen refresh rate okay, that you can change, and screen resolution. It can be 1080p or Quad HD+. Plus. For the screen refresh rate, it can be 60 or 90 hertz, okay? OnePlus is an enthusiast brand. Their buyers care about these features, okay? In order to do, in order to change that, you have to go to the settings app, go to display, go to advanced, then go to the thing you wanna change. Why? Like. Oxygen OS is supposed to be light, efficient, easy, easy on the battery, easy to use, and everything in the settings menu is just buried under 15 different menus. Why? I don't understand. 
So I don't know if they, they will change that in another update, but it is unbelievable how to change the most simple settings. How far you have to go. Like some of these things are faster to change on a desktop computer. This is a phone that moves all over the place. Okay? Ah, I just, I don't get it. Now the next thing I have, and kind of I think the last thing, these are like just a short list here today of things to think about and maybe things for OnePlus to take a look at is notifications. Now to OnePlus's credit, there is actually a lot of notification customization you can do on the OnePlus 7 Pro and I do appreciate that, okay? You can hide certain icons in the uh, status bar if you don't want them there, if there's always persistent notifications and whatever music you're listening to, they collapse that notification into the uh, system settings tray or the quick toggles tray. So there's not a persistent notification, an icon at the top of the screen, which I love. That's actually a really nice thing. What I don't love is all the friggin' battery notifications, okay? I use a third-party keyboard, camera app, and photo viewing app, okay? So OnePlus doesn't kind of realize this, that these are my default apps, and then is constantly sending me notifications. Chroma keyboard is draining the battery. You know, camera, The I have the Google camera bot on here. It's draining the battery. Of course it is, because I'm using it as my, and these apps are supposed to run in the background. The keyboard needs to be able to run in the background so it can pop up when I'm typing in text. And it is set as the default. So OnePlus should know in advance that these apps are going to be taking a battery. The camera, the camera app needs to be able to process photos in the background. The Photos app, Google Photos, it's literally pre-installed on this device and I use it for everything. But still, sometimes, it's just like sending me notifications, photos is draining the battery. This only happens for like these three apps. And I don't know whether it's because OnePlus wants you using their own versions of these or because they just don't realize that these are the defaults. Like seriously, when I go into an application, okay, and I start typing something, Chroma keyboard is my default keyboard, 100%. When I go into an application and I go like click a thing to go take a photo to send back to the application, the Google Camera Mod app is my default camera app for that link, always. When I view a photo, I view it in Google Photos all the time. That's what the link is. Like on OnePlus phones, on Oxygen OS, they'll ask you, okay, we're opening this link. Do you wanna open it in which app? Like if it's a link to a Reddit post, it'll say, do you wanna open this in Google Chrome or Reddit? Okay, I want it to open in Reddit and that, and you can say just once or always and set it as the default, which I've done for these applications. But I just get notifications all the time that they're draining the battery. Stop, I don't care, <laughs> okay. So there you go. Um, that's just kind of a bit of a ranty video, bit of a short one too, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm just reading the counter over here. Ugh. Could be longer than I thought. Anyway, if you have made it this far into the video, thank you. And just to touch on the purpose of this video a little bit, just things to think about when you are thinking about like phone software, it really should be the most intuitive thing to use and things need to happen quickly. Like you're, you type in, you, you change in your sentence, they all need to happen in a very short amount of time because believe it or not, some people actually do productive things on their phones. And it, it just drives me a little crazy when I have to click through like 10 menus to change what Wi-Fi network I'm connected to, which is the most basic thing ever. It's absolutely nuts. But anyway, I digress. And again, the point of this video is not to like just be ranty, although I do like that. It's to just point out some of the hypocrisy that's uh, out here in the software game because OnePlus and all of its reviewers will tell you, Oxygen OS is so efficient, it's so nice, it's so light, which is true, but there are things about it that don't follow under that umbrella. So if people are getting into this sort of phone, they should know the whole story, and that's just all I'm here to tell. So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe for more weekly tech videos coming up this month. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at CalGNew for uh, updates, behind the scenes things, things that can't be full videos. Definitely follow me over there. Thanks for watching.